So today we're going to watch a few film strips. Normally they come with records, but that wasn't an option for us. But what we are excited about is that there are a lot of 1959 film strips. And so we're going to kind of be a commentary. And if you could... <laughs> we're yeah. going to have some fun with this. Yes. You guys have some fun with it too. Um, we have accessories after the fact. January of 1959. So, hey, Josh, I noticed that this is a 59 film strip, but it says 58 Cadillac Motor Division. Yeah, it was the first one of the year for 59, so had to ah. get it done get it done in advance. Okay, well, this no. should be fun going Let's, through this. Let's see where we go. All right. Accessories after the fact. Oh, well, uh, look at him. He's a pretty serious-looking service good dude, isn't he? He is. But you know what's fun about mm -hmm. it is on our logo, we have a guy that looks like that with the smock. Mm -hmm. And I bought an original smock. Oh, do you? Yes. Do you? And eventually when people come into the store, I'm going to have a dummy. And it's going to be having the smock on. <laughs> You'll come in and be shocked because it looks like a guy huh. from back in the 50s. <laughs> well, he's, re he's ready to help you be an accessory after the fact. Here, okay, I'm not saying he's a dummy. No, I mean, no. no. <laughs> but. no. All right. About the 1959 Cadillac. Well, what about it? That's what we're here to find out. Well, Service. Service department. No. Is this a happy customer or an unhappy customer? I don't know. Let's see as it goes. Oh, he might have got a speeding ticket. Cruise control. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I bet you that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Lifting yeah. the foot off, holding mm -hmm. it at 60. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Well, if you got a service one, that's the way the cables run. You know what's great about this is that 1959 was the first year that Cadillac had cruise control. Uh, and uh, we have quite a few units, and we're going to attempt to show everybody in the future how to restore the one for oh, our okay. 59. Yeah, yeah, that's something we got to get working. Yeah, and then eventually have some complete cruise controls that are working for sale. Now, wasn't there also a device that would give you an auditory warning when you exceeded a certain speed? Well, that I don't know. I don't think I, it did back then. Okay, I know. So I think one of the makes of cars had something like that that would. Uh, make a buzzer go off if you yeah I mean if anybody has a 59 cruise control and knows about it just put it in the comments we're not going to know for or quite what, a while or what car had that feature yeah yeah linkage adjustments so this looks like it must be a, a, a film that would have been for the mechanics to see okay as part of their training. all right all right so well yeah it's all good advice and there so how nice to see that in an original yeah. form, right? Yeah, and you know, it's the little bits of detail off to the sides. Yeah, is this called chroma color? Because it's got a little bit of color to it? I, I don't know. I think this is called old film that was done on a budget that was only meant to be watched once or twice. Okay. <laughs> so I truly think that's what's happened to the color. All right. Um, yeah, no, the background, you can see the master brake cylinder there in the upper right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little details. <laughs> But okay. this is pictures where you know it's just absolutely the way it should be yeah. when you're restoring a, uh, your Cadillac. I mean, down to the finite of wanting it to pass for getting the highest uh, points. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, a, a nice nice factory original pictures here. Yeah, we got to adjust this a little bit. Yeah, the film gets hot as it stays under the light oh, okay. and kind of warps position. All right. When, when cruise control does not research to the selector knob. Okay. All right, they're going to show us. Oh, I see. That's where the cable goes in to hook into the mechanism, the ball on the end of the cable. Oh, okay. All right. It's cut right. away I see there, that. so you yeah. can see it. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing showing the inside of my head? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is this what happens when you didn't buy a car from the salesman uh, and you turned your back? <laughs> I don't know. The devil's in the details. Okay. <laughs> There's a method of getting somebody to buy the car. Poke them in the rear. 
Poke them with the test light. Ah, there you go. See if they're alive. So now we're doing some basic troubleshooting. Maybe these, maybe some of these uh, graphs will come in handy when we're trying to explain what we're doing when we fix the uh, parts for our car. Okay. Make sure it's in the right gear. Look at that instrument panel. I mean, that's just class. Not yeah, like anything they right. make nowadays. Three miles on it. Yeah. 1.7 on the trip odometer. Yeah. Well, he's checking, adjusting the, something. Checking the voltage somewhere on the unit. Okay. Okay. Neutral switch, stoplight switch. Okay, those are the things that interrupt the function of the cruise control. They wouldn't be showing us that every car that came into pre-inspection that they actually took the time to make sure that it would work. <laughs> Did they used to do that? That was me. Some agents. Some agencies did, some agencies didn't. Uh, a friend of mine's dad, that was his job at the Chevrolet dealership they worked at in Richmond, uh, was to go over each car, adjust the valves, adjust the brakes, adjust the carburetor. They, went, they took the time. Wow. I'm sure a Cadillac agency would have too. Well, that's why, you know, standard of the world. Yeah, make sure everything works before you send it out. Yep. Okay, more voltage checks, more shots of how the engine compartment should be. <laughs> That's true for a short okay. time. Speedometer noise. Check for kinks in the cable, Jerry John. Or lack of lubrication. Uh, what kind of lubrication would you use? Oh, in the speedometer cable? Yeah. Hate to put you on the I, spot. I, I have a tendency to use transmission fluid, automatic transmission fluid. Um, I think there's another choice, too, and I don't remember it because I don't work on the yeah. cars that much. It's, I, the uh, service manuals will tell you what yes, to use. Yes, but if yes, all yes. else fails, that's what I've used to speedometer cables and the metal sheathed um, heater control cables and stuff. Uh -huh. Like when I had my Army Jeep, the it, choke cable, it, throttle cable. If I don't remember right, which I don't remember, it's like a, a powder. Oh, there's some that might be used a graphite? Graphite, yeah. yeah. It's showing you, I guess, if the noise is being transmitted right. from the floorboard from the put a little piece of um, a piece of uh, right. fuel line around it. You would think the caddy daddy would know everything about mechanics, but honestly, I don't. <laughs> I've had to work on so many different things over the years that I forget what's recommended by one company is scorned by another. So. Yeah. Oh, now we're in oh, great. here with the um, HVAC. Yeah, which we're going to get into at some point yep. in time because before the car can actually go on the road, we've got to restore that and show everybody how, how it's do done. That? Yeah, well, I don't want to be taking the car out on a real hot day without air conditioning. Mm -hmm. I'll run with the top down with the AC going full bore. <laughs> yeah, and our 59 Eldorado came with every single factory option. That's correct. Wow. Are there any dealer options we can add? I don't know. I don't think I want to put the curb feelers on. Oh, when you got wide whites on it, you will. Yeah. Trust I, me, I drive a car with wide whites. Yeah, I just, I don't know you if just, I could do that. You just pay somebody to, to clean them up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, showing the duct work to the rear, uh, rear uh, vents. That's the motor. Oh, those are um, heater hoses. Showing you which way you're supposed to or not supposed to connect them. Heater assembly. I can tell you that from experience, the only 59 that I've ever owned for a while, and at the time I owned it, it was the longest 59 stretch limo with a rumble seat in the back. <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. And I know it just sold again. Uh, and uh, I know that the fellow that I sold it to traded it for something. He, mm. he had it for a while. But when that factory air conditioning kicked in in the front, uh -huh. it was great. Oh, it yeah. It was so cold. It was, it's huh. just super. A Cadillac with a rumble seat. Yeah. Who did the custom work on it? Uh, Danny Minton. 
Oh, okay. Uh, and it was his idea to do it, and uh, he became a friend, and it was a very, very great customer. Hmm. I mean, maybe I got to reach out to Danny and have him come up and help us with the 59, although he's a, a photographer. That's what he does. He's a hmm. wedding photographer, Oh, actually. okay. Interesting. Uh, here's the mechanism for the controls. I kind of wish we had the record for this one. <coughs> Well, yeah, I'm it sure could, it would be great. It could be some useful information for what we got coming up. Yeah, if anybody has... Well, there's the record. Yeah. It's in the film. That's yeah. what happened to it. But if every, <laughs> anybody has the record, we'd love to add it into the... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Do we have any of those controls in stock, John? We do. Oh, we do. Cool. Rebuilt, ready to go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he's got his manifold hookup, charging the air conditioning, blowing some air into the front. This would have been a great one to have the, the sound with, explaining all the details of how temperature and pressure and humidity are all interrelated and... Yes. Evaluating an AC system. Yes. Which I'll go into. Hopefully I can do it without being boring. That's yep. the hard part with some of this is, I mean, to work on your car, sometimes you got to listen to a guy be a bit boring explaining what to do. Well, when I got these uh, records, I it was over 30 years ago in an inventory. Oh, no kidding? Yeah. And wow. So I just took what I could get for yeah. sure. Well, there's a nice chart. That shows the relationships and between humidity, outside and inside temperature. I just working with a, with a friend the other day. I have an AC trouble. He's asked me what temperature should the air be on the inside. And I said you have to look it all up on a chart. It depends. So this is this gives you the Let performance. You know. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> In the next. Yeah. Click. They told you what to look for, and trouble corrected. Well, that's a bad day, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if it's summertime, it's a bad day. Yep. Even in wintertime, I don't know if I want the cabin to be 90 degrees. <laughs> well, we got a Series 75 limousine in that picture. Yep. The rear unit. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that's going to be the temperature and versus the high pressure side and humidity. Okay, all these charts you can find these charts on uh, air conditioning um, the sites that sell service equipment. You can often find these charts for, for different refrigerants. Yeah, and so I we came into this today not knowing what this was going to be about. So right, right, right. I mean. You guys didn't know what it was about either. You're finding out as we go along too. Right, and I, and I, I must admit I don't know the 59 shop manual. Um, I, I look at it once in a while. This could be in there, but if, if it's not, then we're hoping we give you uh, great information uh, yeah. that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at this and letting you know what we think and what comes to mind. Sure. Well, I'll go range. <laughs> Uh, you want to make sure you got a good guy to work on your compressor for you. <laughs> the compressor wants to get away from the guy. Yeah. It's like, right? <laughs> well, people often blame the compressor when it's not the compressor's fault. And, right. Uh-huh. Right. They'll have something else wrong. Right. I oh, used to always... That kid not walking on the sidewalk, very to be careful if he cuts uh, out I'm the thinking street. this is going to be the uh, iTronic eye. No, 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 the washer. Washer. Because that's why they showed the screen that your windshield you yeah, can see out of. Yeah, dirty windshield. <clears throat> well, I think you're There's familiar with this switch, Josh. Yeah, I think we should show everybody. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've cleaned plenty of these up, yes. and I think I've showed everybody how to test them. Oh, he's got a little grease gun to get down into the link, or is he clearing the um, the um, sprayer? Okay, 
Okay, that's setting the thrust on the motor, thrust bearing on the motor, or pulling pulling it out, I guess. Huh? Well, I wonder why they just switch over I mean, to the diode know, on the radio. Yeah, now. we're over or transistor. to the transistor on the radio yeah. now. Oh, turn off the radio before disconnecting. That's what it's about. <coughs> Uh, the antenna. Oh, yeah. What's that? The tap method? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, just, it, it didn't retract, so I'm going to yeah, get out yeah, the yeah, hammer yeah. and, and yeah. The tap on it. Yeah. See your Cadillac <laughs> service, uh, service department to buy a hammer, too. Right. <laughs> Let's well, What's they, that about? Uh, they don't look too good. Well, they look sad. <laughs> now happy. <laughs> Okay. Uh, steering column. Oh, there must be a must have a problem with the wire chafing through. Okay, right. Yeah. We'll have to check ours to see if it's mm -hmm. see if it needs that little bit metal cut out. I guess those are the, the main accessories in the cars, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, there there's uh, electric vents and uh, electric trunk control. Um, were those all pretty much... Uh, were, were, uh, air conditioning and such was still an option in 59, oh, wasn't it? Yeah, wait. It yeah. Was, yes, definitely an option. Radio was still an option. All these mm. things were, were definitely So those options. are all... Okay. And more, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, think about that. You know, you buy buy a car without a radio or a heater to save to save a few bucks. Mm -hmm. And there were, and still are, yeah. many frugal people. <laughs> Cheap <laughs> accessories after the facts. The end. There we go. Well, that would have been Thanks, a good guys. one to yeah. have some have the audio with, but well, we hope you enjoyed our commentary. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, just <laughs> random. Right. I mean, it's just random what we see and makes what, what we think of. Right. Maybe it helps you out with something. Maybe it gives you a laugh, something to run in the background when you're working.